Russian officers shot company commander for disagreement, he got 11 bullet wounds. In Russia, a company commander was shot for a disagreement with officers and disobedience. During a conversation with his father, a Russian serviceman told about a Russian commander who his senior officers killed for a difference of opinion and disobedience. According to the military of the Russian Federation, this commander protected his personnel and was worried about the boys, which is why he had a misunderstanding with the officers of the Russian Federation who simply shot him. The commander was killed. He was good. He was lamenting everyone. He got 11 bullet wounds, explained the Russian military. Recently, analyzing another war crime committed by the Russians, experts from the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, have pointed out that the Russian military command both supports permissiveness in relation to war crimes and cannot properly discipline troops and maintain order. In June 2024, members of a Russian motorized rifle regiment previously linked to the execution of Ukrainian prisoners of war in late May were reported to have executed two more Ukrainian POWs in the western part of Zaporizhia Oblast. The footage shared on Ukrainian social media on the 10th of July depicted Russian service members shooting the prisoners of war on the Zaporizhia front. The Russian soldiers were identified as part of the Russian 70th Motorized Rifle regiment. Ukrainian Prosecutor General Andriy Kostin announced on the 10th of July that the video unmistakably showed Ukrainian soldiers surrendering and following Russian orders. He confirmed that the incident, which took place near the village of Robotyne in Zaporizhia Oblast, was under investigation and had occurred in June 2024. The execution of POWs is a blatant violation of the Geneva Convention. On the 19th of June, the ISW reported that the Russian military hierarchy promotes a culture of permissiveness regarding war crimes by its troops, particularly in Donetsk and Zaporizhia oblasts. The fact that the same military unit has continued to commit these crimes also suggests that the Russian high command is failing to properly discipline troops and maintain order, the ISW said. Recall intercepted conversations speak of a possible evacuation of the military from Belgorod. The intelligence of Ukraine intercepted the conversation of the Russians about the alleged evacuation of the Russian military from Belgorod. People are being taken out of Belgorod. Well, I understand so. And the mobilized and these conscripts and contract workers and the closest people who live nearby understand where they cannot repel. Well, in short, something will happen. I understand says the Russian woman in the intercepted conversation. In the Perm region, fighters of freedom of Russia Legion burned several pieces of military equipment at the airfield of the Russian Defense Ministry. While Ukrainian drones and artillery destroy equipment on the battlefield, Free Russian Legion acted and burned several pieces of military equipment of Russia. Recall, a trio of Russian volunteer groups fighting on behalf of Ukraine. One of them is Freedom of Russia Legion. Three armed groups, the Freedom of Russia Legion, Russian Volunteer Corps and Siberian Battalion, launched a cross-border assault from Ukraine into Russia in this march. Moscow calls them Ukrainian terrorist formations. None of the anti-Kremlin Russian militias will offer actual numbers of men fighting under their colors on grounds of wartime secrecy. They would also fall foul of Ukrainian military rules if they did so, and as formally enlisted soldiers in Ukraine's International Legion they're required to abide by the rules governing classified information. The raids have earned the freedom of Russia Legion the hatred of their foes. The freedom of Russia Legion is being hunted by the Russian military, which is keen to identify the militia's bases and in order to reduce the chances of being directed by missiles or drones, Freedom of Russia Legion units are dispersed when on Ukrainian soil, only coming together for big raids. The families of Freedom of Russia Legion members who are still in Russia are harassed and threatened by the FSB intelligence agency to try to extract information from them. And a new Russian law allows authorities to expropriate the property of anyone declared terrorists, a designation that would include freedom of Russia Legion members.